Hey guys, in the last video, we drew up our X table in Fusion 360, and today we're going to be work on be working on the floated end bearing block. Uh, this houses our radial bearing, and this will go on the end opposite of our stepper motor. Uh, but before we do that, I want to point out that when I originally did these designs for the video, I did one continuous draw. On this bottom line here, you're going to see it go all the way across, and that's really not the way you want to do it. I had to go back and break it down uh, so that I could break down each individual component and put them together as one drawing. So I want to show you how to do that now. Uh, what you want to do is go to your data panel and then we want to start a new design and we want to save this as the x-axis floated end video you can name it of course whatever you want and then what we want to do is our table that we drew in the last video we want to insert that into our current design like that. We can close this and we'll just place it right where it wants uh, to go. And then this, by this being in our current design, we will be able to use the sketches that go along with it. But in order to do that, we have to unlink it. So right click up here and then break the link. And then now we can turn our sketches on we can actually um, turn the body off, excuse me, and the sketch on. And then now we have the sketch we drew for our table. And we're going to use this because we're going to be reusing all these different points in this particular drawing for our floated end. So let's get started. Now, <clears throat> I want... my ball screw to be two inches down from the top. That's going to be our center line. So I'm going to create a new sketch and it'll be on this space here. I'm going to draw a line from the center top of our X table down two inches which is 50.8 millimeters alright and from that point I want to, I'm going to do a rectangle this is a center rectangle I'm going to start in the center and I want to go 101.6 by 101.6 which is 4 inches square alright and this will clear the saddle and I'll see if I can get a photo of that to show you Next, I want to draw a couple of circles. So I want to hit C. And our first circle is going to be 35 millimeters, which is the diameter of our bearing. And then another circle 
which is going to be 16 millimeters. So we can see that we're not going to need this whole block here. You can see it's not really needed. All right. So what I want to do is going to draw another center rectangle. Like so. And then I'm going to do a arc. We'll do a three point from here to here. And then down to here. And then about right there. That looks good. Let's see. Alright. So now we need to put an arch underneath here. Start, arch, three point. Actually, let's do a center arch. There's the center. We'll go there. This is there. All right, here's that. This is right here. Like that. We'll do it again. From there. Over to this side. Like that. Let's see how that looks. Alright, that looks really good. Okay, so we'll get rid of some of these lines we don't need. Alright. Okay, get rid of this line. This line. Actually, don't get rid of all those lines. Let's get rid of this line. And then go to sketch. Trim. And we'll get rid of that line. And that line. There we go. All right, then go to fillet, select that line and that line, and then fillet that one. Fillet that. Fillet that. Okay. How does that look? Not too bad. We can uh, fillet the top here too. It doesn't have to be square. It can be uh, nice and rounded. Maybe three millimeters. Okay, and we'll do this side over here. The same deal. Uh, three millimeter. All right.
this does kind of look a little funky right here so let me see if I can fix that a little all right all right I think that looks a little bit better now all we have to do is turn the, our other sketch on by turning this light bulb on right here and we can just put holes back in the same spot that we had holes in the original one just click in the center drag to six millimeters and then now we have our mounting holes we can turn that sketch back off and uh, we're done so we hit stop sketch and we have our stepper mount okay so next we want to go to modify press pull we want to select this and we want to move it in this direction we're going to be using a three-quarter inch material it is 19 millimeters our sketch back on here okay actually I'm gonna go back and modify this I'm gonna edit this feature I need to select all of these hold control select them all okay now we want to do once again press pull now we just want to select this one and this one and our bearing is 11 millimeters so we want to go 11 millimeters deep okay and then we want to do it one last time and I want to just select this center portion just to give me a relief so we want to go back about 13 millimeters in a negative direction and we want to make sure it says cut for the operation and then that will cut it and now you can kind of see that we have our pocket pocket for our bearing and then we have a little uh, recess there for the shaft to kind of go into uh, that's basically this mount is done this is our uh, floated end or depending on how you looked at it, our fixed end, but yes, our floated end for our x-axis. Now if we turn our other body on, you can see that it's in the wrong spot. So we need to select it, right click, and move it. Okay. And it needs to just go backwards the length of our table, which was seven, a little more than seven hundred, seven oh three. There we go. So we just moved it into the correct position. 
Let's check and see if our holes lined up. These holes line up right here. And it looks like those holes line up as well. So there's our fixed end mounted or our floated end. You can kind of see how it mounts underneath the table here. So now that we've finished our floated end bearing block, I thought I would just take a minute and give you another design option. Uh, this shape is great if you've got a CNC machine, uh, but cutting these curves manually may be a little bit more difficult if you're going to be manually machining this. That's not a problem. You can go with something like this. It's a little bit more simple. Uh, this can be done, these flats can be done with a manual mill and you can just round these over with a file to get the corners. So that's just another option. Uh, in the next video we're going to start on our actual ball screw bearing block on the other end of our X table. Please feel free to ask questions and leave comments. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and most importantly, be safe.